you need to use a lot of coconut to get good coconut flavor into a, ver a, a big beer. So, you know, if you're, if you're putting coconut into, you know, maybe a porter or something like that, you might not need as much or as much steep time. But if you're putting it into a 12 to 15% stout or especially a barrel aged stout, you really need to use a lot of it. And you need full, uh, I'd say that full steep time of five to seven days, at least for us, what we found to really get that flavor in there. And once you get that flavor in there, you'll probably tell yourself, I need to use even more coconut next time I do this. Uh, for instance, this year we, uh, for Fantastic Voyage, we increased the amount of coconut by 25%. And uh, I was happier with it. And I'll probably increase it again next year because I want to be even happier with it. And, then, and everybody that I talk to in the industry that uses coconut is always talking about how do we get more coconut flavor into these beers. You just have to keep putting more and more into it. And that's just, there's no way around it, it seems. When I say a lot of coconut, um, you know, we're talking about a range of anywhere from 10 to 20 pounds of, of coconut per barrel is, is what we're finding that a lot of people are using, including, including ourselves. And that, that is a pretty big range. We're, we're somewhere in the middle of that range, but that's, that's the type of uh, quantity that you need to really get good impact out of a big beer that has a lot of residual sugar and a lot of other competing flavor. For how to brew Abraxas and other things, click the link below.